Welcome back everyone. Um, I thought I'd do a short video of me doing a bit of stripping wire and that sort of thing. Um, so I thought I'd grab a roll of this aluminium wire that I've got. Um, it's for three phase that goes up in your, in your line up in, in the air. Uh, this is how it comes out. It's aluminium wire. There's a lot of it here. I'm going to be cutting it in about a oh, metre, two metre lengths. So that way I can put it back into a coil like this. There is four in four in the line. I think I already mentioned that. So my tool of choice of cutting it. Haven't got a set of bolt cutters, a pair of bolt cutters, I should say. That'd be nice if I did. This place has got a pair, but they wore out. I had a look, tried to repair them, no go. But anyway, my tool of choice is a good old axe. So I tried it and it worked. So that's what I'm going to use. Just got to mind my fingers. Watch where I'll put it. So I'm going to cut this around and uh, do a short little time lapse of me cutting it. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. See how quick I can do two. There we go. We can do two at once. That's one lot. And we'll do there. Save me moving the blocks around. I don't think I can do four. I can. Oh, sweet. That's Mickey Mouse for me. Just don't split me block. <laughs> I won't need to do a time lapse. Right, grab that. Just keep feeding it in. That makes it so much easier. Then we'll get over to the strip moisture over there. Oh, I split me block. Now, wire stripper. And then we'll start stripping. Got to separate it first, though. So, yeah, that's that done. Yeah, they're in about a metre and a half lengths. I'll be able to manage those. And we'll get over there. So, this is how I've actually set a little wire stripper up that we purchased off eBay, of course, as everyone does. Some have got handles. I rigged this up so it's got the, the drill on it. Um, I even put in a little light so I can see what I'm doing. So, with all the do, I've put the wire up here and I can just pull it out, grab one, put the drill going, lead it through. So easy this is. So I've got me wire there. I see you can see I, I, I tested it out. Got it right to the right level and everything like that. Right cutting level. I never seem to wear gloves while I'm doing this. My hands get a bit beat up in the meantime. That's just coming out like butter. That's what I like. Anyway, this is what I mean. So I can put it back into a circle. I've already got some thicker stuff of this done. Um, I'll just show you that stuff. It's a lot bigger than this. So, get that finished to that. It's just around here, in this bucket. This is some good heavy stuff. Look at that. That is some big stuff, that. Magic stuff. So we'll put that in the same bucket around here. That's the magic stuff, that. That's all aluminium wire. That's Mickey Mouse for me. Loving that. Still worth money. Not much as what copper is, but it's still able to be melted down. Like if you want to melt it down and get all the bad purities out of it, yeah, go for your life, but I'm going to leave it like that. And we're going to keep going like we are today. That's a good length, that. Don't mind that. So, I'll put you all on a time lapse putting this through and uh, do a wire time lapse video. Ooh, there's a bit I better not miss that one. So, yeah, cue the time lapse.
Right, let's take it all apart now. As you've seen, I did do some in that time lapse, um, pulling some of it apart. I have a bit of an issue with trying to get it apart, so because it's a bit twisty and windy, I've got it in certain lengths. So, once you get it started, it's not too bad. I might just put the wire that side in the... No, I'll do it this way. Plastic that side, wire that side. Do it this way. Good thing is, it's a good sitting down job. I'm not going to worry about trying to wind it up at the moment. We'll get around to doing that in a minute. Just get the done done's the thing. Get the screwdriver in there and pull the plastic off a bit. Plastic to the left, wire to the right. It's the best machine I've ever bought. I think it only cost about 80 odd dollars. It's only got a little LED light that uh, connects up to a 12 volt battery that I rigged up myself. Just screwed in there. So it's a good idea. Yeah, that, it gives you an idea that you can actually see down in here what you're doing because I can never see in there. Like that's a nice sharp blade in there. You don't want to be getting your fingers in there. So yeah, it's best to have it lit up. That's what I thought. Um, I usually get in there and blow all this out with the air compressor. So, yeah. Right. That's what I do with it. I don't mind it when I'm doing this big stuff. It's a bit tedious when you start doing the, the copper wire though, and the smaller stuff. I, I've got some done over there in a, in a bin. Um, I started out last night. We'll have a look at doing some of that, stripping it out like this. Once we finish this, put that that side, that that side. I don't know how many there is here. Well, we might go back into the time lapse and uh, speed this video up a bit, eh? I reckon that's a good idea. So, cue the time lapse again. Right, one more to go. We have a mess to clean up, of course, like always, when you're doing a job like this. Holy dooly, I have got a mess to clean up. <laughs> oh, well, a lot of it will go in the bin. I'll hang on to all the aluminium. All the wire, one piece to go. I think that's in about a two and a half metre length. Where's that? Turn that light off. I'll drop my screwdriver here on the ground. 
So yeah, it's only a matter of getting the plastic off. That's all it is. So damn simple. Comes out of nice shiny aluminium. I could probably add that to my aluminium pile even. I don't think that would matter. This is where this is going. As you see, I've been doing a fair bit. A fair bit of stripping out. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, here's all our copper that I've done so far. All our big stuff. So, I've got a little bin over here that it's got to go in. I'll just grab it. We'll get back to the aluminium cleanup in a minute. Uh, all of our stainless and aluminium's over there. Getting things all sorted out, what goes where. All of our good strippable copper will go in here. This is a little bit easier than the alloy wire. Just got to get a strand out, that's all. That stuff will go straight in there, that'll go straight in there. No, I didn't cut that real well. Oh, well, give it a heave ho, hope for the best. This is why the Stanley knife is so handy. Keep the fingers clear. Done. That's in there. Right, I've still got the cat wire down there I'm going to do up too, so got a fair bit of stripping out to do. This stuff was, um, I got this a couple of weeks ago actually, this stuff. Good strippable wire. This stuff, it's worthwhile stripping out. better off putting that in the vise. Oh dear. Didn't quite cut it through. Well, that's easy fix. Just go along with the knife. That one. But that's damn good wire. I like that. Good heavy stuff. This stuff's worth some money, this stuff. I've got my number two in the other little yellow, well it's not a little bin, it's uh, about a 210 litre wheelie bin. The one you put out to the curbside here. All been cleaned up. That's our number two. Um, found this found this one out at the local landfill. I thought, well I'll take that home with me. Cleaned it up, no holes. I thought, yep, that'll do for me number one copper. So that's what I'm using it for. That'll go in there for sure. That into there. Now, how do I go with this one? Did I manage to get it, or did I not cut it? I don't see a cut line. I've got my glasses on, everyone. See, you got my glasses. Oh yeah, there's the cut line. There's the cut line. Yeah, it's cut. I just got to get it all started. That's all it is. Getting it started, the main thing. It's worth stripping this stuff because it's not that fine, fiddly stuff. Here we go. That's going to come out quite simple. That one. That's the way it should come out. That's the good stuff. Don't want it so it's cutting the wire. This one had to cut a little bit into the wire.
but it's still peeling off okay, which is good. No, didn't cut it there. How oh, well we're gonna struggle here getting that apart. Well, no, we didn't. Wow. Sweet. Oh, this one's already started. It's even better. So yeah, I've got a whole bin full there I've got to do yet. I've got a bucket full somewhere around here. Down there, I think, or back there. Off copper wire. Ooh, this is a big, big piece. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Plastic breaking apart. Some people say it's not worth stripping. To me it is. Yeah, you're taking some of the, the weight away. But I reckon it's worth more money like this. Taking the plastic off. I'd rather get top dollar than number two wire. If I can help it. Like all your transformers and that sort of thing. Yeah, you're going to get number two because it's got the glue on it. Um, got all paper and all that sort of thing on it too. So, just a bit of a learning curve I found out when I first took my first scrap run. So, then I forgot to ask him about aluminium wire. So I just gave him a holler. Give him, got on the old phone and said, well, do you take aluminium wire? And they said, yes. I said, right. I'll collect that for ya. So he says, oh, good on ya. He said it's worth the same as normal aluminium. Oh dear. I might chuck that in the voice. Mind the bench, it's a bit dirty. Been very busy. Oh, that broke out, didn't it? That didn't work. Do, 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 do. Go like this, sideways. Click, click, click. Click, click. Ah, oh, damn. Leave the wire there. That's better. That's better. -er. That's better. -er. Look at that. Nice clean copper wire. That's the good stuff, the stiff stuff. That come out better. Look at that. in your home. Send him home. Right. Maybe I need a light. Can't see it. It is cut, but barely. There it is. I just got to start it back off again. Barely see it. I know you can't see it on camera, but it's definitely cut. I done these last night, so yeah, like I was saying. So yeah, got a fair bit of wire stripping to do, yeah. Probably another day or so. I've got plugs in there I've got to come off as well in that big one. Um, I've got wire sitting over there. I want to try and strip out. A bit smaller stuff than this. It's the fiddly stuff. But I'm going to give it a go. I'd rather have bright and shiny copper than number two insulated. Well, it's number one insulated or however they say it.
Um, but yeah, um, the geez, that's a long piece. The fella I go to, a fair distance away, gives me a good price for it. For when the price is right, that is a long piece. Damn, that's a long, long piece. I'm still undoing it. Where's the end of it? Damn. Maybe I should have just chopped it off. There we go. That's a long piece, that. Uh, where am I now? Throw that that way. That's it. We'll just feed that into there. That into there. Don't lose your knife. Oh, this is a nice long piece. The good stuff to there, the bad stuff to there. Yay! Hey, that didn't take long. Look at that. All the rubbish. Now, this one is done, yes. Just got to start it off again. Don't pull the bin off there. We'll have a right mess like I got on the ground with the alloy wire. Pity we couldn't have some music in the background from the good old wireless, but, you know, copyrights and all that sort of thing. Can't do that. It'd be nice to be sitting here listening to the wireless and a bit of music and that sort of thing. But we can't all have it. Merry Christmas way, can we? It's a bit bland and boring without a bit of music. So let's cue some music while I finish this copper off. Didn't quite cut you through.
<laughs> nice, very nice. Can't put that one in there. He's aluminium. He's got to be great shot. I'm living up every breath. I'd rather leave them be I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said. Keep that little bit. And he's got to be great shot.
big fella. I mean, strippers ain't gonna do that. Not quite cut right through over this one. Let's see what happens. Put him in the vice. Truth and light. Falling over myself. But anyway, um, that's how I've been doing it all the time. Um, yeah. Very time consuming. As everyone can see. So I hope you like this video. So if you've come this far in the video, don't forget to tappy tap that like button. And, uh, yeah, consider subscribing too if you want to. We don't force everyone to subscribe. I do put a few notifications in to subscribe in the video, but it's you don't have to subscribe. It's your choice. But when you do tap tap that like button uh, make sure you share the video too that way you're sharing my content to everyone else and you're recommending it to everyone so on that note I'm going to end it off there everyone and uh, I hope you liked it today sharing my experience of stripping out wire aluminium wire I'm still yet to clean up the big mess down there unfortunately it's always a way I don't think I'm going to fit it in there I may have to load it up on the trailer we've got a big big skip bin up there big dumpster I don't go through that one because I put a lot of stuff in it myself a lot of this stuff I know what goes in it so yeah but anyway like I was saying going to end it off there everyone and uh, I hope you've enjoyed today this afternoon of me stripping out some wire got three to go I'll stretch it out here to uh, finish off end off the video for everyone oh look at that that's that real fine stuff I was talking about if you go too deep see how it's cut it it's really cut it so you just got to be careful with that and holding it over the bin is probably the best thing to do when you when you've stripped it out So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Um, not sure when, where, or where, what it'll be. So stay tuned. Damn, that one's gonna be hard. <laughs> this is where I should have done it with those. There we go. Last one. Yeah, cause I gotta strip that other one out. Alright then, I shall see you in the next video everyone. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon or wherever you are in the world and have a safe day. See you all.